So, what are you up to, Dave? Um, I've modified two valves on two propane tanks. And I'm going to put some water in the propane tanks. Oh, that's actually plugged a little bit. But anyways, you get the idea. I'm going to put about a third full of water, that much. Then we're going to make a fire and throw them in a fire and see what happens. One we hope is going to launch straight up like Mythbusters when they blew up the water heater. And one we hope is going to be an omnidirectional explosion where it all explodes in every direction so it just blows the fire apart. The vertical uh, ascending one, we're going to cut a slight small fracture all the way around with a grinder and make that the hottest spot in the fire so hopefully the bottom blows out, gets a good launch and it's going to be all steam powered. So let's see what happens. All right, now we're ready for the modification of one of the propane cylinders. Just a slight cut part way through, all the way around. The valves are fully installed and tightened. There's uh, no gas in them, of course. But there is water. Now just hit pause, you don't need to film the whole thing. Got the fracture partially cut about 30 thousandths deep all the way through. So we're ready for action, now we got to build a fire. Cool. Okay, the tank is in the fire, they're making a speedy getaway. So now we just got to wait. This is the one that should fly through the air that has the fracture in it. We, other, we set the other one there just to measure the collateral damage when this one goes off. We just gotta sit here and patiently watch from my crazy tanker. It's been in there like four minutes. I'm gonna guess like 15 minutes to go off, something like that, hopefully. Oh my God! Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Death. <laughs> Whoa! There, it just landed. It was it was flying for like 30 seconds. Did you hear it go ting? I did. Let's go find it. Couple pieces of the field there. <laughs> I gotta drive. Whoa, man! That was huge. Totally cool. No fire at all. It's gone. There's not even a trace that there was a fire other than the ground is black. <laughs> wow. Exactly as planned. Look how deep it planted itself. No, I couldn't. I didn't catch how high it went. It went so high, It went higher than 300 feet. Oh, 10 stories is only 100 feet. It went higher than that. I went 14 stories. Probably was 500 feet. Probably 500. Well, it landed a long ways away. Glad it went straight up. Well, you got to think if it landed 500 feet away from where we detonated it, that it flew more than 500 feet in the air. Or how else could it get more than 500 feet away? And look how it keep it planned itself and the dent it put on there. Is this the one that you cut? Yeah, this is the one that I cut. That's why it made such a perfect fracture. Look at the, look at the dent it made when it hit. I know. It was probably coming down at the speed of an asteroid. Yep, because it, I, I, I'd, say, I'd say I'm at terminal velocity. <laughs> wow. Awesome.
Okay, let's do the other one. Did you feel the shockwave? Yeah, <laughs> I felt it up there. Oh man, did we ever feel the shockwave? Whoa, serious. Like the world did you film it too? Yeah. Oh, did you catch how high it went on your camera? I didn't catch how high because I got the explosion and I, oh. I was zooming like. Oh. The fire's gone. If there's, there's not even a trace there, if it was a fire there. <laughs> <laughs> it's fire clean. It's just clean, clean, clean. <laughs> Where did the fire go? Go. So the divot's about four or five inches deep from when that thing came for a landing. What do we do with this thing? We save it as an icon. We put it by the building and save it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's hung on the wall, man.